Hi guys and welcome to episode 9. Hi guys. In today's episode we're going to focus on the start of our new base. We have been trying to do this for some time now. But before we go, I want to show you how I marked out our temporary storage. As you can see we've used item frames. We just find this to be a much nicer looking way of doing it. You can see the items quicker. Rather than reading signboards, I just feel that this is a lot easier. Just be careful when you use item frames, especially in large quantities. Um, ours obviously we haven't got very many, but they can cause lag on servers. So maybe just be aware of that. But otherwise, that's it. Have a look inside. Here we've got shoes. So in this box I've put armor, there's tools. Basically how we lay out our storage system. Let us know in the comments what you think. Maybe give us some ideas of what you guys do. So yeah, Gex would like to show you how we plan. So we're going to go to his test world first before we go out and plan the base. So we'll see you guys in the test world. So we are now in Gax's test world and as you can see he's a real busybody behind the scenes. <laughs> I don't know what half the stuff down here does but it looks quite interesting. So Gax uses this world for all his planning. And trust me he plans. Nothing gets done without planning. Don't know what this is. Word. Okay so let's get back to... I don't know where you are. That's no, okay right. don't worry. I'm on my way to Gex now to go see what he's up to. Hey love, I see you running around down there. Can I explain to them what all this is, love? Yeah, go for it. Okay, well let's start at the beginning. So basically what Gex does is he does a whole palette of colors and he puts them together so you can see what they look like, how they work together. This is palette number one. We've used acacia wood, you can see there's magma blocks, lava, oranges and he didn't really like this color didn't seem to grab our fancy if you put it that way not a big fan of the orange no. then if we move on to the next palette we've got some some nice blues i really like this one but unfortunately like yeah you know, we don't have a sea monument so it's going to be difficult to get some of these so we thought well let's rather give that one a miss it is always later on for other projects use this palette on something else. Yeah. And then we've got the greens. I also love these. I think they're amazing colors together. Yeah. But we settled on this one. Why? Our channel is purple. So we yeah. thought this would be best. And of course, Mystery loves purple. Yeah, Mystery loves purple. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to go with these colors. Um, we're going to use concretes. Um, the purple concrete, white, some quartz, and obviously some black. I'm not quite too sure if we're actually going to use uh, these purple pillars and uh, purple slabs. But they're there, I guess. They for... are there. Obviously, we get them from the end. I'm not a big fan of them, but they're in the palette. If we need something different, they are there. But yeah, that's the palette that we're going to use. So let's move over to where Gex has started planning. I love, do you want to explain what you've done here? So, our main dominant color is going to be white, which is going to be white concrete. And what I just explained to Mystery here is we can do some variations of the white with uh, white concrete powder or even bone block. So we can go other shades of white on it. So our main overall color is going to be white. Our secondary color is going to be the purple, like you can see what we did this year. And and a new purple blaze ter terracotta looks quite funky and here's the thing what we spoke about in i think it was the first or second episode what we like to do is we like to outline most of it in like a black we like to get a cartoonish feel i think it's different i haven't seen it done before it's it gives that modern feel but also it's a very difficult style to explain but let's see how it goes and you know, it doesn't always have to be the black you know we've got the other grays here that we can swap out i think the black i love the black and white purple pop it's just i mean we I can think it's awesome start doing something like that you know so it, it just gives us a bit more options 
we are a bit limited on this pallet on st uh, white stairs so the only white stairs we've got available is the, the port stairs so we're gonna have to spend quite a bit of time in the nether i'm quite excited for that we'll send mystery to go fetch all the ports for us thanks love the only other issue that we do have is black stairs but we'll see what we can do with these nether brick stairs and slabs but we'll talk about that later as we go along cool. so that's the idea that's the the template that we're going to use we get back to our server and start yep. checking on our layout let's go back to the server we'll see you guys when we're back on the server Alrighty, guys we are back back on our server we're gonna go through to the site we already start doing some planning and we'll talk you guys through it we originally thought that we would build the base just behind this little pond here that was the plan but after doing some layout checks the base is way too big for that area we had to move the site a bit and you can see there's stuff starting to render in the distance that's where the site's going to be yeah my love i'm following you i'm just trying to keep up so basically we're going to have our base based around four towers on each side these towers are probably going to house most of the farms actually all of our farms iron farm mob farm the works all the wheat farms animal farms wool farms all of that <laughs> i think they get the point <laughs> the idea behind the whole base is that it's self-sufficient Obviously we can't do everything, but that most of the stuff is being generated within the base. Just to talk about chunks, to bring up your chunks is F3 plus G. But do you push the F3 in and the G at the same time? Or yeah, do you... you hold it in. You okay, so you don't say plus, you just... No, so you press F3, F3 and, and G. Uh, G. Okay, cool. And you will see all these borders popping up. So what these borders indicate is a chunk. So a chunk is basically... A 16 by 16 block and 256 blocks high and minecraft generates the world according to these chunks a bit of info there's roughly about 14 trillion chunks minecraft oh, a in the world that's how they can generate so many different worlds how do i get rid of the chunk now when i don't want it showing anymore just press a3 and g again so the reason why I lay my base around the chunks is sometimes if farms are split, especially something like a villager breeder, if it's a half in one chunk, half in another chunk, it doesn't always work. So that's why I take chunks in consideration. The only problem that we've got is our base is an odd number, but all the chunks are even numbers. So on the edges, we are going to be a bit out, but it's not too much of a train smash. So like Mystery said in the beginning, we based our base around four towers that's on the ends of the base. And this is where the tower is going to start. So the tower is going to have a triple block wall. Uh, the reason why we do a triple wall is so we can just do some more uh, decorating and give us some space to make it look pretty. So this is where the wall starts and you will see that the inside of the wall starts on the chunk line. The tower will go through. You will see roughly in the middle is where uh, there's another chunk and right at the end is where the chunk ends so normally we're not too concerned about the last little bit that's not in the chunk because this is where we normally run hopper lines and stuff back into our sorting system and i'm gonna show them what we're gonna do in the middle yeah so in the middle we're going to, obviously inside these towers we're gonna to have a courtyard going all the way around which we'll decorate to make it look like a bit of an outside scene give it a bit of an earthy feel in the middle over here We'll make a whole glass platform and underneath that you'll be looking down into our mine shaft and then our storage system which will be below. It'll look really nice once it's done. Yeah. So the base, we keep saying the base is big, the base is massive. Just to show you this is where the next tower starts. So between towers is 77 blocks from, from wall to wall and then the towers 
uh, 45 wide and 39 deep and the towers are going to be 87 blocks high <laughs> so it is a massive base so what the idea is what we're going to start doing today we do not have all the resources fit i'm sure you guys can see that this is going to require massive amounts of resources and we're in survival not creative yeah, we are in survival every piece of block is getting legit we have to mine everything we have to farm everything to make this base possible we're gonna need a factory area uh, for something like a glass factory with a super smelter where we can smelt sand in the thousands uh, to give you a rough idea we're gonna need about 35,000 pieces of glass for this base white concrete and purple concrete we're looking around about 85,000 pieces so we also have to set up kind of a concrete factory um, I've got an idea that I want to want to try with TNT where we can AFK and just place concrete powder next to water source the sticky pistons that pushing them past water and they turn into concrete they go into a little blast chamber with a TNT duper just to start creating a bit of the concrete for us because we can't mine it all we're gonna start marking out the towers we just going to use granite for now that is not going to be the base color I'm not a big fan of granite I will not use granite as a, as a base color so this is going to be the outer wall and this is center this way I'm looking right now so this block here okay so that block there is center so you want to take these these two wood out and that two wood out so this three wood out so long so we just first gonna mark out the, the straight se section which is 19 blocks so it's not nine blocks each, each way so you, you want to pack out nine blocks that way and I'll go nine blocks this way thanks love make me go over the wall how oh, you over the water Oh, and there's coal in the water. <laughs> you guys see what I mean by mystery and coal? I already forgot how many blocks I put. Nine. Oh, I'm just count for you. One, two, three, <laughs> four, five, six, seven, eight, and one more. One more. Nine. Okay, so now we've done that. What next? Okay, so now we're going to go diagonally. Uh, and we're going to go diagonally 13 blocks. That side? So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I'm going to do the other side, you do this side. More okay. complicated on that side. Okay. <laughs> so on the other side, now we're going to go th 13 blocks straight up. So love, now am I going straight off of this or am I going at an angle? So you go straight off, but this last block is block number 1. So this is number one and then the next block you place is two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen now we're gonna go 13 across a diagonal so we put that one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen and we are spot on happy is that yeah I'm spot on and now basically we just need to close this as so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen cool so that's that's the base of the, the outside uh, towers what we're going to do is we're just going to mark the inside towers as well so we just have a reference of the inside towers and we'll do that with netherrack and that's more or less what the towers is going to look like it is not a square tower it's very different it's got glass layers in um, it's quite modern it's not your usual castle little medieval, medieval style. It's I think a lot of people go with that these 
bit I, more modern. I don't think that the medieval is ugly. It's very difficult though to build. Uh, yeah, it is I difficult mean, to build. It's not an easy thing to build, no. and I take my hat off to those guys. Yeah. But yeah, I like the modern, fresh. What we can do off camera quickly is mark out the rest of the towers, and we'll see you guys afterwards. Cool. Alrighty, guys, we are back. The base is marked out. There's an overview of where the base is going to come in. Um, like we said, this is not going to be the base colors. We're only using these blocks. To mark out what goes where uh, we'll have to build the base in sections um, so we need to know where things are gonna go that's the outer wall I was talking about as we'll follow the base all yeah. around the four pillars that the base designed around and in the center there we'll dig a big hole down to our crafting area and we will follow through into a mine shaft that's it hello that's it. As always, guys, thanks for joining us. If you enjoyed this episode, please share with your friends on social media. Also, hit the subscribe button and like our video. If there's anything you wish to see in our channel, please comment below. Remember to click on the bell to activate notifications of new episodes we release. Looking forward to see you guys again. Bye for now. Bye, guys.